Teacher in Maryland pleading with the school leaders to do more to protect educators in the classroom. This comes after she was attacked by two students last school year. Nana St. Tubonzi was in Upper Marlboro tonight with the latest on this distor disturbing report. Nana? Yes, Sharin, good evening. Just before tonight's Board of Education meeting, a music teacher held a rally right here outside the building asking school leaders to take her story seriously and also bring change to the school district. Now, a number of people attended this rally with posters and signs chanting for protections for teachers and staff. Back on May 11th, Renee Calloway, a music teacher at Potomac Landing Elementary School in Port Washington, says she was attacked. She tells us she was trying to break up a verbal altercation when two students pushed punched, jumped, and even kicked her in the head, sending her to the hospital with a concussion. She tells Fox 5 that she now suffers from anxiety and has PTSD, which is keeping her out of the classroom. We're told both students were suspended. I'm telling you, they snatched my soul when they attacked me like this. I've been teaching over 20 years. I'm sorry. I've been teaching over 20 years. And it's never happened. And this is the hardest time in my life. Now, Calloway, as you heard, says she's been teaching for more than two decades and she is home on medical leave right now. She says she misses teaching, but advocating for change is important. She started Safe Teach 23, a campaign to keep educators safe. She's asking the school board for change and reform because she doesn't want this to happen to anyone else. We're requesting mental um, services for those students who do those infractions. We are requesting behavior management. We are requesting plans for that. We are requesting that they take a look at the student code of conduct and say, this is not okay. Students are continuously doing these behaviors because there's no accountability for them. Now, at tonight's meeting, Superintendent Dr. Millard House also addressed the recent violence that's been taking place at and surrounding the schools. Just two weeks ago, a 16-year-old student at Duval High School was shot and killed walking home. And this week, a student was found with an uh, with a loaded machine gun. The superintendent called these acts of violence, and he's asking the community to come together. He's hosting a safety forum next Tuesday.